Hey everyone, so this is episode 3 of my Dark Souls Let's Play. Uh, last time I didn't show you everyone this, but I went back to fire to Undead Parish to get an item from that guy who killed me a few times, so I kicked him off the edge to get his ring. And that gives me more stamina, which is the green bar, more health, and then more equipment load so I can equip better items and still be able to run pretty fast. So that'll help us a little bit. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm going I'm going back to I'm going down to Blight Town. So that's where you can get the second um, bell, but I'm actually really just going there in order to uh, um, in order to get some armor and then another one of the Firekeeper souls, and then I'll probably just suicide. I actually recorded this earlier and then I died. Uh, because that's what happens in these games, I fell off the edge. So I want to get an armor set here, and it's always kind of hard to get it. Well, it's not that hard to get it, but I always, like, mess up. Uh, okay, so you gotta fall here. It's a lot of falling. Um, oh, come on. Oh, here. Here, go around here. Avoid spider guy. Uh... So... This area itself, there's a really big focus on... Where's my blood stain from last time? There's a focus on verticality, and... Uh, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of climbing around on places in playgrounds. You know, kind of hide and seek, and can't see things, and feeling out your way through the environment. Uh, Okay, good. So I made it through there. Uh, do what do I want to do now? Um, oh, it's treasure chest. Okay, that went better than expected. Uh, actually, this is just a spell. I don't need it, but I'll get it anyways. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a playground style place. Uh, which one do I want? This, this. I'm at 17. If I take these off, then I can run a little bit faster. Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. Um. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is suicide. Take after getting an item. Just you'll see why I have to suicide. Like, there's a way to get it, but it, it takes a really oh. Or I'll just die like this. Uh, is there a way to not die from here? Uh, oh. Uh, well, okay. Uh, I guess we're not going to get the Firekeeper soul. Well, it doesn't matter because I just needed the Crimson set. And I'm going to have to climb out of there again, and I can get it at that point. So that's fine. I just wanted to get um, some better armor. Uh, now I want to go... Oh, okay. So we'll do. Just run past all these dudes. Uh, I really like this level because it makes me feel like I'm kind of entering into a city. I'm like going up to the city on a hill, and it's a nice feeling. There's this nice uh, 
There's this nice town in Taiwan that's actually in in the mountains, and I went there in 2006. Uh, that's a nice... There's nothing really in this game that looks like it. It would be kind of a cool cool sort of area to have in a Dark Souls game, I think. Uh, but if you if you've watched Spirited Away, um, Spirited Away is based on it, or is Spirited Away is the design of of Spirited Away is. The design of Spirited Away's homes, or their, the city is based on that city, I think. Uh, but anyway, that's what this level reminds me of, kind of. So the reason I'm going back here is to get um, an item, maybe two items. Oh shoot, I aggroed both. Oh! What is with the aggro on these? They're like... Oh jeez. I came in here to get a chunk that I'm going to need to upgrade stuff later. Um, it's over here. I'm going to try to see if I can sneak up on this guy and get a backstab. Oh. He might turn around too early, I'm not sure. No luck, okay, that's okay. does that when I heal. Um, it's funny how I call them he's, but they're probably he's. Okay, I'll get him this time. Or not. Come on. That gives me a nice little chunk. Uh, the thing down there is an item that I, I will not use because... Because I'm a noob. Um, it's an item that if you have below 30% health, you get extra defense. I don't actually know if it's useful. Um, here you can get an item that's useful. Uh, it's a... Guy's really far down. Um, and there he is. So nice. Oh, I didn't know he could do that. Um. Okay, one second. I'm gonna run back there. Uh, I don't think I'll bother trying to kill him. I'll just get my souls back. Okay, so I got my souls back. Um, I'm gonna use that to buy something later. Uh, where I'm going now is... Well, we're gonna open a shortcut to help us out.
But anyways, so this spiral staircase, it reminds me of towers in Italy that I've been to before. There's like one that has a bunch of stairs. They, they go like that. They go upwards in a staircase. And it's curious that Japanese developers chose to sort of emulate medieval castle stuff. It's, it's always interesting how Western-centric the game's world is. Um, always focusing on, you know, influence from the West. Like the newest games by people making, uh, making Dark Souls is based on like Victorian era England. I don't know, it's interesting they choose that instead of something like Chinese or Japanese history or other Asian, East Asian countries. Alright, so... Oh. Let's just open up a shortcut. So this area here actually does remind me a little bit of um, that place in Taipei. Also like some places in Italy, Italy too. Uh, like Siena, maybe? I don't remember the names. Yeah, okay. Uh... So that meter is a status condition called bleed, and if it fills up, then you, uh, you, well, you take a lot of damage. So I'm gonna get ambushed right here by some thieves, thieving jerks. Just gotta be careful. Because they can do bleed damage on you and... Yeah, like that. Heal. Uh, okay, so... But we op I opened up a shortcut there, which is why I went that long route. Yeah, this is more back alleys of like older European cities. It's not really too much. This sort of view here is kind of like a Taiwan thing, except it's the the buildings aren't as tall, and you're also in in like sort of a jungleish mountain place. Some of them will suicide and 
It's running away, okay. Uh, That'll be useful for later. <laughs> There's some armor in these, like, rooms here, but I'm not gonna waste my time getting it. Uh, there's a boss in that door, I'll probably die. Yeah, it's like, just bullshit. Like, what is that? Um, a few more of those thieve enemies. Opening up a shortcut. Oops. So I'll show you the shortcut and then pause the video. So it's right here. Um, it just takes us all the way back to Firelink Shrine. That's kind of cool. Anyways, I'm going to pause it and go back to that boss. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm back here. Uh, I want to go there to get stuff later, but for now I have to run past these dudes. Yeah, fuck off. Um, and we have this boss that I don't know if I'll die on, I hope not. It used to be really hard when I first started the game, but it's not too bad now. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll be just a really horrible time. Oh. Oh, so, so good start. Um, so this is sort of the boss that's like about using, really it's like forcing you into this horrible cramped like environment. Um, I'm just gonna heal to be safe. Uh... Oh. Yeah, 
yeah, so if you... Yeah, you can do that to follow him. Uh... Whoop. Anyways, so that was a lot easier the second time around, or like the third time, I don't know, the third time I had to beat him. So you get an item, you get a key, that lets, me, let's go somewhere. Uh, so the trick to that boss is basically just to use a staircase to kill the dogs off first, um, after you dodge the first attack. Yeah, I go away, I don't talk to you. Um, I died on the boss like ten times my first playthrough. What are they doing? <laughs> so it's good I beat that. I was kind of worried for a while that I was gonna just get my ass kicked, basically. <laughs> um, better than expected. But yeah, this is very, sh like, Chicago-y, New York or something. I don't know, just U.S. cities. Kind of cool. Uh, I have no real world analog for walking into this space. It's kind of underground sewer area called the Deaths. D de Deaths. Deaths as in like the sewer. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of neat. It's neat because now the idea is like, oh, I'm traveling underneath the city that I was learning about, I wonder what I'll see, you know, I wonder where it'll lead me to, and it turns out that it leads to this, like, horrible hellscape area that you'll see. Not hellscape, but just, like, this toxic town built into a wall. Um, and in terms of talking about, like, talking about game development, so the studio that made this game from software, they released their first games in like 1992 or 3, a game called the Kings, Kingsfield. Um, and Kingsfield is a game, it's sort of like this but first person and like really slow paced and really hard. but. The games FromSoft has made over the years have been sort of like iterations upon this formula of gathering points and stuff, and gathering souls, upgrading these weapons in this style. And the game that came, the game that came right before this, uh, Demon Souls, Um, the game that comes before this one, Demon Souls, it has a lot of areas that are very similar to, uh, similar to areas in, in Dark Souls. Uh, so where am I going now? Okay, so this is Deaths, and then after that is Blight Town. Um, I got two of those, so I can get two upgrades on a, on a, Weapon, which is nice. So I'm gonna just get out of here first. Go back. So there's that Blight Town thing I was in for a little bit. There's an area in Demon Souls that's just like it, and it's also like horrible. Um, and there's countless other little like analogs between the two games. So oh, I got a lot of souls. What do I want? I need to buy some boxes. Um, I'm gonna go to the blacksmith. So I'll unpause when I get there. Okay, so I'm back here, and I'm going to, yes, okay, yeah, okay, uh, so we're gonna ascend it, 
to plus six, which gives us more attack power. So, 14 points. And then I'm gonna upgrade at once. We can also use that stuff we found, the uh, Tung Kung Titanite, to upgrade this a bit. Upgrade our armor. So that'll help. Um, and I'm gonna buy items that will help me a lot. So I'm gonna spend six. Well, let's see. What is my. Oh, stop. Two are useful for upgrading items. At least, definitely want this. Uh, reinforcing armor. I can't really reinforce anything until I get more of the, the twinkling stuff. I don't think I'm getting any soon. So, those other things don't seem worth it. Um, I think I'll buy some of these just to upgrade my shield. So the shield's defense is based on that stability stat you see there. So that'll help us a little bit. And then I'm going to spend the rest on level uh, levels. Increase attack power. Do I have any souls? Yes, thank you. Mm. So I'm going to stop this video at 40 minutes. Uh, try to kill that demon down there one more time. Give it another shot. So that'll give us more souls, which is nice. I think I can level up one more time if I use this. Um, yeah, that's a little bit tense. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'll buy this repair box, I don't know, which is more useful. Uh, you never know. Don't want to be screwed with that one. Whoops. Alright, so I'm going to unpause when we're back at the sewer area. I'm just going to run all the way back. Actually, I just remembered that we can go to... We can actually revisit that asylum place we visited uh, first. And I'm going to do that now. Um, there are a handful of main things you can do there. Uh, 
I think I'm just going to do a few of them right now. place you started and like on your first playthrough by the time you're revisiting this stuff you're sort of like when you're retreading that old space it's kind of like going back through like a like your elementary school or whatever oh wow shit uh, it's almost kind of like you're revisiting your elementary school where you were at the first time because you're kind of remembering where you're doing all this super basic uh, like learning and stuff. Um, even getting to this place without a guide, I don't know how you. Oh, no. Okay. Getting here without a guide the first time, that's pretty hard to like figure out this whole like environmental puzzle of climbing up the side of this um, stuff. So you have to just crawl up here and wait for a really long time. I'm not gonna p keep this on camera. Okay, so now they're picking us up. Um, I'm just gonna skip the scene. Okay, so we're back here. A few things I'm gonna wanna do. First of all, put my shield back on. There's a boss, but it's kind of too hard to do right now. So you can drop stuff here, and when you come back, when you reload the game, there will be stuff there for you. Nope, I don't want to sign in. Offline mode. Uh, yes, go. So in our case, it gives us this titanite chunk, which is nice. Um, I'm going to look up in a bit what else there is that I could need. Um, as far as I remember, there's not really that much else to get there. Uh, so there's a boss here. I think you can hear it, I'm not sure. Um, It's kind of a tough enemy at the end of the hall here. Another Black Knight. I don't really want to fight it, so I'm just going to try to get past it. However I can. I think I have enough... Yeah, okay, I have enough margin of room to get through it. Um, so that'll... Where does that take me? I don't remember. Oh! Go away. Uh, oh, I'm here. Oh, oh! What is that? Oh no, it's the other guy. Uh, am I gonna die? Oh, stop! Oh, just leave me alone. Now there's two of them. Okay, I'm kind of probably fucked. Okay, I'm screwed. Oh, this is bad. 
Oh, maybe not. Oh, he, he actually... He saved me. Okay. Oh, this is so irritating. I guess I should just fight it, right? But I don't really want to. So that's something I don't really need. Whatever. Uh, so the whole point of that was to... I don't remember where I have to go. To, this just confuses me so much. And there's one more thing I need to get. I'm going to run out of time here if my video file gets too big. I think I'll be able to do it. Um, if we go all the way back to where we started the game. So that little jail cell. Let me in. Um, well, first of all, there's another... Oh, there's another Black Knight. Um, but there's also an item. I'm not going to fight that Black Knight. That's tedious, and I don't want to do that. Oh, but there he is. Yeah, okay. Let's get this item. So that'll end this run, this uh, episode, just kind of uneventful. Well, I was mostly just gathering a lot of like stuff. That'll help us out later. Um, yep. Okay, so 
I have those items, so that ring will help me with later. It lets me run through the swamp, so that'll be useful. Uh, I guess I'll just level up. Uh, useless. Okay. All right. Goodbye.